Despite the wet weather, Father Duenes Memorial School, located in Manilao, welcomed its 395 friars to their campus. Principal Ismael Perez said that the first day of classes went smoothly. Um, they've been pretty normal. We've got most of our kids on campus. Um, you know, they're they're excited to be back. They wanted it to be in a, in the on person on on campus session again. Um, we were excited to have them back, and it was even last year though we had a lot of our students on more than fifty percent for the most part in spring semester. Um, they were excited then. They're more excited now to get back into the swing of things and be on campus and you know together with their teachers and, and each other. Unlike last school year where there were two models of learning, which was online and on-campus instructional learning, this year will only be face-to-face -face instruction. If there is a need, we will work with the parents in a very limited basis, but it was um, not very fruitful for many of our students in an um, online setting. So we are having online platforms like Google Classroom is set up our um, Vision, which is our student information system where they can see assignments and grades is also up. Um, and we'll be using them no matter what, but we, we expect most of the instruction to be on campus for the most part. And if we have to go online, we'll switch really quick. We'll, we'll, we'll pivot, but we're not trying to go online to do that mode of instruction right now. Paris says that things are pretty much back to normal. So we're back to pretty much the regular schedule. We have our student assemblies. We have our, um, um, in the morning we had a, a school assembly. We have regular schedules for um, all seven periods. Uh, we do have block schedules still, but it's the same way we were doing it maybe two or three years ago. He noted an increase in student enrollment. It's, it's nice to see that students are coming back, um, returning, but also newer students are wanting to join us. While the island is still dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic, Paris shares their COVID mitigation efforts. Well, we were pretty good about doing them last year. We did have um, at the entrances a scanning station, um, and students are much more used to doing it, you know, going through the scanning stations really quickly. We do have three foot distancing minimum in every classroom, but um, even most of our students, we have big kids, so three foot distancing is actually pretty tight, so we have a little bit more space than that. So it exceeds most of the requirements. Um, everyone is still wearing a mask and um, we mandate, you know, it, whether you're vaccinated or not, we're still wearing masks until we um, come to an, another declaration from the governor that allows us to remove masks. The latest survey conducted by FDMS shows that amongst the students, 37% were vaccinated, 40% at the time were scheduled to get immunized, 20% were willing to get it, and only 4% were not willing to obtain the COVID vaccine. According to Paris, 96% of the school staff are fully vaccinated against the virus. Reporting for Guam's News Network, Guahu CIZ.